Hello. Uh, anyone here got a dad? Don't be cowards now. Have you got a dad? What do you, what do you get your dad for gifts? Cologne, t-shirt, sweater. Get fancy with it. <laughs> Put some long sleeves on that bad boy. That's beautiful, that's beautiful. Anyone got a better answer? <laughs> do you have a dad? Yes. What do you get him for gifts? Uh, what? Gift. You're the gift. <laughs> that's beautiful. <laughs> like you're giving items, but he's giving a lifetime of memories. Mwah, beautiful. Love that for you. All right, two strange answers, to be fair. Um, now, that rules. Uh, my dad's quite an odd duck, which is a nice way of saying that he was uh, born in the 40s and will never get an autism diagnosis. Uh, <laughs> You know, he's a very gentle soul, very, very smart. Uh, we're on a very similar wavelength, some would say a similar spectrum. And <laughs> he's so easy to shop for. Like, he loves puzzles, jigsaw puzzles. He loves them. Birthdays, Christmas, Father's Day, Hanukkah. We're not Jewish, but still, you've got to take what you can, you know. And I, get, I highly recommend you get an autistic dad. They are so easy to shop for, you know. Just a jigsaw puzzle and he's happy. Um, but if you don't have an autistic dad, might I recommend a couple of products I've recently designed for the men in your life who need a little bit of permission to enjoy the finer things. Now, a soothing herbal tea, that would never fly. But what about engine coolant? <laughs> it's a heady brew of ethylene glycol and peppermint served in a jerry can. <laughs> Uh, men never take care of their hands or their nails, particularly men who do a lot of manual labour. And while a manicure might feel quite threatening, what do men my father's age love nothing more than doing? Cleaning and resealing tiling grout. <laughs> and what is the cuticle but the tiling grout of the finger? <laughs> Representing liquid nails. <laughs> High strength cuticle oil in a tiny, tiny cork gun. <laughs> Uh, this next one's just a beer garden scented reed diffuser um, <laughs> with a couple of wet sniggies in the bottom. Yum, yum. And uh, look, this last one was quite a hard sell, but it was um, a little kiss on the lips. Okay. But what if these men were not having a little kiss on the lips? What if there was actually a food grade tube leading from one mouth to another so they could swill the liquid contents of home brewed beer from one mouth to another, like a dual barrel fermenting system, and then spit it into a bottle labeled Luke and Damo's friendship beer? <laughs> the secret ingredient is undying loyalty. <laughs> Um, I take it we're all local, yeah? Anyone not local? Get out. <laughs> nah, kidding. You're welcome here. Um, I think everyone in Melbourne has a special bond around those lockdowns, right? Everyone had their own way of getting through them. Um, and for me, that was growing out this mullet. Have we got any other ironic mullets in the house? Yeah, surely. Um, you know, I wanted something to live for. So I thought, why not have an inbuilt Legionnaire's cap? <laughs> and I went back into the office after being home for like over a year. And this woman called Marie came up to me in the kitchen and uh, she hadn't seen me in a very long time. I used to have a bowl cut, if you can imagine, just a fringe copy pasted around my head, kind of like a medieval monk as sort of vibe we were rocking. I was a 10 in the dyke community, okay? <laughs> um, and so Marie comes into the kitchen and she sees me and she's just like, Scout! Scout! <laughs> Love that mullet, that is so brave. <laughs> Are you, is it for charity? <laughs> Are you, I've heard about this Mullets for Mental Health initiative. Are you raising money for the mentally ill with this haircut? No. <laughs> but it was a pretty good personification of where Melbourne's mental health was at the time. <laughs> you know, business at the front, little breakdown at the back. 
And after that conversation, um, Marie felt so bad that she apologised and offered to buy me a coffee. Um, so in a way, the haircut kind of was raising money for the mentally ill. <laughs> Thank you so much. I'm Scout Foxhole. <laughs>